We are now asked to find the first five coefficients of the Taylor series for the function x cubed. And we're going to center this Taylor series about x equals 1. So let me remind you the formula for our Taylor series. All right, and since they're telling us that we're going to center this series about x equals 1, then what we're going to do is we're going to plug a equals 1 into this series. And let's see if we can squeeze the first five terms out of this. Okay, there's the first five terms of our Taylor series. Well, okay, let's actually start doing some calculations. Let's find this first term. f of 1 can be found just by plugging x equals 1 into this original function, and the value is 1. Our next term has an f prime of 1 on it. But to find f prime of 1, we first need to find f prime of x. That means take the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. Okay, then f prime of 1 just means we're going to take that derivative we just took and plug in x equals 1, and we get 3 times 1 squared, which is 3. Okay, our next term has an f double prime of 1 in it. So we can take the second derivative of our function. That means taking the derivative of 3x squared, which is 6x. And then if we want f double prime of 1, we just plug x equals 1 into this derivative, and we get 6 times 1, which is 6. Let's keep moving. This next term involves f triple prime of 1. And f triple prime can be found just by taking a derivative of f double prime. The derivative of 6x is 6. So f triple prime of 1 means we're going to replace x in this function with a 1. But there is no x here, so our result is just going to be 6. Finally, our last term that we need to find is the fourth derivative of f with 1 plugged into it. So let's find the fourth derivative of our function by taking a derivative of the third derivative. The derivative of 6 is just 0. So if we plug x equals 1 into that, we just get 0. Now all of these over here were just kind of our side calculations. What we really needed in this problem were these five values right here. Now let's take those five values and plug them into our Taylor series formula. And let's see what we get. We had f of 1 equals 1. We had f prime of 1 equals 3. We had f double prime of 1 is 6. f triple prime of 1 we also found was 6. And f quadruple prime of 1 we found to be 0. Let's do just one step of simplification and we'll be finished. And what you'll notice with our final answer is that every term has a coefficient on it and every term has an increasing power of x minus 1 on it. So our final answer does in fact look just like this general formula they've given us up here in the problem. To get a final answer, we just need to read off the coefficients. The first coefficient in this series is 1, the second coefficient is 3, the third coefficient is 3, the fourth coefficient is 1, and the fifth coefficient and every coefficient after that, in fact, is going to be 0. So that is it. Now the funny thing about this Taylor series down here is that if we multiply it all out, we're actually just going to get x cubed, our original function. And so we just found kind of a different way to write x cubed in the form of a Taylor series. So this might be kind of a silly example, but it gets you working with the process of calculating Taylor series. So I think that's the point. Let's find a Taylor series for a different function in the next video. I will see you there.